that has depression and drug dependency. In my rights to an education can help prevent child labor and poverty. Furthermore, education promotes peace and tolerance. Mommy, I am not doing any work again. The legal age is 16. Hmm, some parents would never understand. Children, I wish we could have a voice and not be afraid to speak and not be afraid to speak up when we are faced with these situations. Don't stop child labor. On my way home from school today, I saw something that broke my heart. I don't know how to explain it, but I'll start. Little boys were selling fruits at the side of the road, being exploited, and then it hit. Big 2021 and child labor is still around? The mere thought of it makes me frown. Kids forced to do domestic work, they should be future teachers, politicians, and clerks. And if only you had seen the sorrow and sweat dripping from their faces, I wish they could have felt my warm embrace. Working children in Trinidad and Tobago should be aged 16 and above, but there they were, 8 or less. They should be liberated from domestication and able to get an education so they too can build this nation. To unlock the doors of success with their powerful minds, but to this life, they are confined. Their mental health suffers, their lives become physically tougher. Child labor is a child's worst nightmare, except some children, they never wake up from that fear. They live it every day and feel its effects in every possible way. My one wish is their protection. Every child is deserving of love and affection. Hi, my name is Hermione Doyle. Today is school, but I have to work here as a packer. My mommy says I must work to help our family. But I am only 12 years old. Definitely under the age of 16, which in Trinidad is the legal age for children to work. So you know what that means? Yes, I am a victim of child labor. Working makes me sad because I really wish I could be going to school and playing with my friends. But instead, I'm here, packing groceries. My hands and feet are killing me. But you know what? I believe I have a right to an education and I am going to make a stand today. And I want all of you children under the age of 16 to make that stand with me. And let's put an end to child labor. What? I must work on evenings from now on to bring money in the house? Like my mommy don't know that is against the law. I might be looking big, but I was only 15. And according to the law in Trinidad, a child is not allowed to work under the age of 16, or else that is child labor. And besides, on evenings, I have so much homework to do. Having to work on evenings is only going to have me drained and tired. How am I supposed to do my schoolwork? My education is very important to me, because that is what can help me raise my standard of living. And so it should be for every child under the age of 16 to focus on their education. And let's take a stand against child labor. I am nine years old. Most of my life I've been selling fruits at the market to help take care of my brother and I. I don't like it. I'm always tired and I feel sad and angry when I see other children going to school and having fun. I seldomly attend school so I don't know how to read or write. When I don't want to work, my parents get angry with me. This makes me feel bad. This is mentally, physically, socially and morally harmful to me. I'm not 16 years old, so I should not be working. But if I don't, who will pay these bills? As mommy always say, bills don't pay themselves. My parents makes me feel responsible for my brother and I. That's wrong. I should be in school and getting an education. It's my right. I just want to play and have fun like other kids. My only wish is for all children to have a chance to go to school and have fun being a child. $5, $5, $5, $5, anything, $5, $5, $5.